That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Neil Armstrong, Michael Collins, and Buzz Aldrin landed on the moon as part of that Apollo 11 mission only 52 years ago. Today, we have more than 7,500 satellites actively orbiting the Earth. We have rovers on Mars, and SpaceX has landed reusable rockets at meter-level precision. We have come a long way since the Wright brothers first took flight in 1903. Nearing the end of the first industrial revolution, Thomas Edison patented the light bulb in 1879 and electricity was conceived as something that humanity could embrace. This launched the second industrial revolution, and 150 years later, we now use nuclear fission to split uranium at the atomic level to produce more than 10% of the world's electricity. Everything in our modern world relies on electricity to the tune of 25,000 terawatt hours per year. The first computers were the size of entire rooms. Hard drives could store less than a single Instagram photo. 50 years later, we rolled out personal computers around the world. We went from dial-up internet and AOL Instant Messenger to worldwide networks of data centers and cloud computing services that process half a billion API requests per second as a part of normal operations. Now most of our lives revolve around the internet. Adults spend more than six hours a day interacting with digital media. E-commerce has made shopping for anything a click away and we have an endless scroll of TikTok videos. The metaverse is becoming an inevitable future. It is no question we are living through the most rapid advances of technology in human history. We may see more change in our lifetime than throughout all of human history combined. And this is only the beginning. I'm Andy, and in this channel, we'll break down and explore all of this technological progress through the lenses of energy, cloud computing, blockchain, and cryptocurrency. So smash that subscribe button, hit the like, subscribe to the newsletter in the link below, and let's get this going. The data bears out the trends in exponential growth and change in every category. Here we see world GDP over the last thousand years. The last 200 years of world GDP growth look like a startup company's revenue projections and highlight what we intuitively know to be true about the massive changes we have seen in just the last hundred years. Climate change has become a pressing issue of the last decade with increased concerns about CO2 and global warming. Since 1990, our world energy production has grown 63% and our electricity consumption has grown 119%. And yet, energy and electricity are proven to be instrumental for providing opportunity around the world. There is a clear correlation between poverty and limited access to electricity. In Africa, a 1% increase in access to non-carbon-based electricity correlates with a 10% decrease in infant mortality. The Energy for Growth Hub estimates that 3.5 billion people, nearly half the world population, lives below the modern energy minimum. How can we balance our desire to watch reruns of The Office grow the world's energy levels, and decrease carbon emissions all at the same time. The International Atomic Energy Agency forecasts a 39% increase in energy demand by 2050. Even with a 30x increase in solar energy generation from today's levels, leaves us exactly where we are today in terms of energy output from all other sources. The digitization of everything is something we all intuitively recognize and see in our daily lives. Earnings calls and IT imperatives abound with digital transformation initiatives. The three cloud computing giants are on pace to report combined revenues in their cloud segments of nearly $130 billion in 2021. And cloud computing is on pace to become a trillion dollar a year market in just five years. Today, this would mark nearly 5% of US GDP by itself. The advances in computing and artificial intelligence which have compounded exponentially over the last 20 years could mark drastic changes in society. While we may soon have self-driving cars, the automation and impact of AI may mark the end of several industries and jobs that will be hard to reestablish in our new digital world before severe economic impact to so many people. While the demand for innovation and technology seem insatiable, so too is the government's views on spending and printing money. 
the last two years have seen an increase of more than 37% in the money supply. Federal debt to GDP has never been larger. And on top of this, we have a polarizing 24 by 7 news cycle designed to trigger emotional responses. Fortunately, the last decade has also seen a rise in blockchain technology and new cryptocurrencies. While still early in many respects, the blockchain and crypto ecosystem is growing at an exponential pace and there are so many problems crypto begins to address. 1.1 billion people live in countries with confirmed double-digit inflation. 1.7 billion adults live without a bank account, women representing 56% of this total. Remittance payments, which act as a lifeline to underdeveloped nations, average more than 6% for fees worldwide in 2021. Already, various blockchain-based applications and cryptocurrencies are serving as important checks and balances to monopolize functions of fiat money printing, offering decentralized digital property rights, and working to become an ever-important alternative option in disrupting the dominance of a handful of companies in finance, banking, and cloud computing. We are entering an incredible decade of innovation, and there is so much to explore as our future rapidly changes. And we're gonna have some fun along the way. So be sure to subscribe below as we journey in to the understanding the exponential layers of our world. See you in the next video.